An SEC series is on the line on this Sunday afternoon. Today in Tuscaloosa, it's the 25th ranked Alabama Crimson Tide against the nation's top ranked team, the Arkansas Razorbacks. Razorbacks. Took away a hit in the ninth inning. He hits it high and deep to right field here, but it's playable for Evan Slight for the first out. Got him swinging, curveball again. Zane Adams, back-to-back -back strikeouts, close out a perfect top of the first. Going six innings, putting Arkansas in a great position. Yeah, Tiger, junior 6'2", junior right-handed arm, closer, and has worked his way into the starting rotation for the Hogs, making his, end, making his ninth start, first pitch for ball. Gage Miller works the leadoff walk and continues his streak of getting... The 0-2. Reached for and sent high in the air to left field. Peyton Holden moving back all the way to the track. Reaches up and makes the catch. Hustling back to first base, Gage Miller. The throw there. Miller's out. A double play turned by Arkansas. Two gone. What a defensive gem right there. Got to the track. Knew that Gage Miller was expecting that to be dropped. He was first inning on Friday. He'll get the first Razorback base hit here. Leadoff single for McLaughlin starts the Razorback top of the second. A little bit. He hasn't scuffled yet. Slow roller to second. Eblin only one play at first, and he got it. Two gone. Peyton Holtz. And he keeps on swinging in Tuscaloosa. McCants comes in and gets a great catch to close out the inning, robbing Holtz of what would have been his fourth hit and possibly the first Razorback run in this game. Ball four, once again, a leadoff walk begins an Alabama inning. Puts it in play to second, Stovall onto Alloy, back to first for the double play. Back-to-back -back innings, double plays turned by the Razorbacks. That got T.J. McCants going as he sends one here in the air to right field. And that'll close out the inning. Once again, the minimum to the plate for the Crimson Tide, despite a leadoff walk by Brady Tiger. Wilmsmeyer strikes out looking on a fastball from Zane Adams. Strikeout number three. Up a little for the bit Fresno. against Kentucky. Only got through two innings of work. Just couldn't get it consistently going with his pitches, but he's starting to do that today. LeBron was a little off on the throw. Hodo was in front of the first base bag, tried to apply the tag, but uh, extra runner, Peyton Stovall, quickly to Eblen at second, and that'll bring the inning to a close. So the error does no damage. The Razorbacks don't score in the top of the third. Deal to get him back in the game defensively to be the stopper. Up the middle, and he'll get a base hit. Tough for the Razorbacks to defend with Tiger and Stovall, an infield single for Matt Gassetti. Not too often. It's very rare you hit a ground ball and it hits a bag and just lay one down with Bryce. Or punch it into right punch field. Punch it into right field. Gassetti will head to third base. Digs up with the baseball. Back to back hits for the Crimson Tide. Bryce Eblen with Tiger, the second hit. Former closer, now starter. Base hit to right field. Alabama takes the early lead. Gassetti scores on the RBI single by Ian Petrutz. one nothing Crimson Tide in the third. Sky high in the air to left. Backing up on it, Holtz. He'll put it away for the final out here in the bottom of the third, but it is the third inning where Alabama breaks through thanks to an RBI single by... Going in the draft or... Jared Sprague-Lott with a base hit into right center. He keeps on hitting in this series against Alabama and overall in this ballpark. We've talked about it a lot. Homered last year for Richmond. To second base, Eblen on to LeBron for the double play. Crimson Tide turn two. Nobody on base in this top of the fourth. Base hit to right field. Cade Snell keeps on hitting his fourth hit of the weekend against Arkansas. Three hits. Base hit to right for T.J. McCants. Two on with one out for Alabama. The one-two. Breaking ball got him swinging. Another strikeout win. Tiger needed it. The tide behind the plate. Smoke to first right there, Ben McLaughlin, and that lineout will close out the inning. 
Crimson Tide. Sprague Lodge skies it high and deep to left field. Petrutz all the way back. Reaches for it, but can't make the catch. Extra bases for Sprague Lott with a double to extend the sixth inning. Zane's hand. Punch past Miller in the left field. Here comes Sprague Lott. The throw by Petrutz is cut off as Sprague Lott got a late stop sign from Nate Thompson. Men on the corners for Arkansas. Surprised. Puts it in play here to center. Backing up on a McCanns. He's got a beat on it. He's got it, and the inning is over. Cody Frank will take over on the mound for the Razorbacks. Senior going through his warm-up tosses, previously time at Nebraska, then before that. Right to third, gobbled up by Spraglot. Two gone. Right to second base, there's Stovall, and that is the inning. Frank comes in, sets down the Crimson Tide, one, two, three, here in the sixth. Nolan Souza. Souza with a fly ball to center. McCants, a good adjustment for the out. That's the first out here in the seventh. Excuse me, check swing, grounder by Helfrick to Hodo. That's the inning. Seven scoreless innings by Zane Adams. That hit him. Three base runners starts the seventh inning for Alabama. Drills it. High, deep right field. And gone! Welcome back, Bryce Eblen. A two-run homer makes it 3-0 Alabama. Fifth homer this year for Bryce Eblen. Breathing room, 3-0 Alabama. Gage Miller, base hit down the left field line, all the way to the corner. One out double for Miller after the home run. Yeah, Will McIntyre, redshirt senior, 6'4", big guy, 17th appearance, off speed, and he's got a cutter at 83-85. Ian Petrud's first pitch sends it down the right field line. And just in for a base hit. Miller a late break to third, a double that just snuck in there by Ian Petrutz. That's a fifth year senior right here. And he gets the strikeout. Huge strikeout on that spot for Will McIntyre. Arkansas to get that second out with a guy at third base was big. Now a pop up. Sprague Lodd, the third baseman, will make the catch, and that will close out the inning. But the inning. 2 1. To shortstop LeBron for the out. <laughs> Lifted high to left field, Ian Petrutz. Puts it away. Eight scoreless innings for Zane Adams against number one Arkansas. Still 3-0 Alabama. Base hit, Kate Snell. All the way to the right field corner. Lead off double for Cade Snell. Five hits over the weekend against Arkansas. Drag bunt, first base side. McIntyre. Razorbacks can't make the play. The pressure's on from T.J. McCants, and it pays off. To center field. Edmondson back with the catch. Snell tags from third, and will score without a play. Also, McCants will take second, and slight with a sacrifice fly to make it 4-0 Alabama. You don't get it. McCants takes off for third. High throw to third base. TJ's coming home. The throw from Holt. Offline. TJ McCants keeps supplying the pressure. 5 0 Alabama. Into the shift. Tricky for the Razorbacks, but they'll make the play with Peyton Stovall to close out the inning. But a two run bottom of the eighth. Some breathing room for Alabama as we roll to the ninth in Tuscaloosa. Backhanded stab, LeBron, the recovery, and the throw for the out. 2-2. Two -two. To second base, Eblen. Two gone. More consistent in getting first pitch strike. Got him!
and swinging. Alabama takes two out of three from number one, Arkansas. Complete weekend by the Alabama Crimson Tide. You drop Friday, you get punched in the mouth, but you play a very good game. You fight to get Saturday, and then you come out and give a Sunday, Sunday performance to finish off the Razorbacks.